Today we're going to show you how to set up and install Montezuma's garage storage cabinets and provide you with a few of our key takeaways. How's it going? Jay here with WB Tool News. We are in the midst of an awesome studio upgrade. We've got our vinyl flooring down. Now it's time to get to work on installing our cabinets and workbench. These heavy duty powder coated storage cabinets will be perfect for keeping our tools and gear organized, accessible and ready to roll. Now, before we get things started, if you like this video or find it helpful, entertaining, or any of the above, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's get things started. Montezuma storage cabinets are known for being super easy to set up and install. The base cabinets require minimal assembly, while the pegboard and upper cabinets can be installed in a traditional fashion to the wall. They can also go directly onto the base cabinets using the included support posts. This is a huge advantage for DIYers who might not be up to the task of hanging cabinets on the wall. We're going to go over both methods in this video. For our install, we'll need a utility knife, tape measure, level, a screwdriver, and a drill. Note, if you're mounting the upper cabinets to the bottom cabinets using the included post, a drill is not needed. Our new setup includes four base cabinets, two two-door cabinets, and two four-drawer cabinets for a total of just over 10 feet wide. The four drawer cabinets arrived pre-assembled. We spun in the adjustable feet and they were good to go. The two door cabinets were packed flat for easy and efficient transportation. Once out of the box, assembly was super quick. We unfolded the base, aligned the stainless steel worktop and attached it using the included hardware. We added the feet and popped the shelves into place. Easy as that. Before you move on from the pegboard, stop and remove all of the protective film from the stainless steel worktops. This might seem a little premature, but once the pegboard's in place, it gets a whole lot harder to peel off the film. We learned this the hard way. Once we recognized our error, it took a good 20 minutes to backtrack and redo the work we had just finished. Once the protective film is off, we could install the pegboard. Each kit included two pegboard sections and the post to mount them with. The first post attached directly to the back of the base cabinets. A second post slides over the top, providing mounting points for your pegboard. The pre-drilled and threaded pieces make installation very easy. Another pro tip, use a drill driver with the clutch set appropriately. Using an impactor makes it too easy to over torque or strip out the fasteners and that can be a major headache. We learned that the hard way so you don't have to. The top cabinets unfold just like the two door base cabinets. Our set included two two door units and two single door units. Both styles assembled very easily. We fastened them to the support post using the included hardware, then repeated the process for three of our four sections. That was it. No leveling, no stud finding. It was as plug and play as it gets. Now, we have a crawl space access hatch in the corner of this room, which we need to access from time to time. For this reason, we wall mounted both the pegboard and the upper cabinet so we could freely move the base unit whenever we needed access. We trimmed a two x four to space the cabinets appropriately from the wall then located two studs and fastened the 2x4 using 3 inch drywall screws. This gave us a solid surface to mount to the cabinet to, which was spaced just right. We measured, leveled, and mounted the cabinets and the pegboard in place. Now we can easily slide the lower cabinet out while the upper cabinets and pegboard stay in place. Last but not least, we leveled our cabinets. Now the subfloor was quite slanted, so that means every subsequent section needed to be a little bit higher than the last. The process was fairly straightforward. For major adjustments, we tilted each section on its side, then dialed them in once they were tilted in place. With everything installed and in place, we have ourselves a fantastic looking garage storage workspace. The 24 inch deep base cabinets provide a ton of storage space. The roller drawers are smooth, sturdy, and the stainless steel worktop looks fantastic. The built-in pegboards and uppers offer sturdy, convenient access to your tools and gear. Here are a few key takeaways to remember prior to setting up your new Montezuma garage storage. First, remove countertop covers before assembling. These are much harder to remove once the tops have already been screwed into place. Second, use a drill driver with a clutch instead of an impactor like we did to avoid stripping those fasteners. Third, level each section in place prior to loading your new cabinets. This will ensure your cabinets align nicely top to bottom. Fourth, the cabinets have a lot of stickers and some are pretty stubborn. When removing them, use a hairdryer to soften up the adhesive, or if you really need to, also use some adhesive remover to give it a good soak. If you found this video helpful, check out a couple more of our other how-to videos, and like always, we'll catch you on the next one.